pretty close in Melbourne. 14 degrees currently. And uh, you can see the 83% humidity. At the moment, clouds are staying away. Let's check in on the team news. And for the home side, a further blow for John Aloisi. Sees Andrea Miglarini forced out with a knee injury. 20-year-old Paolo Retre gets his first ever A-League start alongside Mas Madoka as a holding midfielder. Golgo Mabratu replaces Mate Duganzic in the starting 11. For Western Sydney, tactical changes made by Tony Popovich has club captain Michael Beecham out of the match day squad entirely. Matt Speranovic gains his first start for the Wanderers. Mark Bridge drops to the bench. Shannon Cole is in the 11. He starts at right wing and Brendan Sandilab switches to the left. Tommy Urich in fine goal scoring form with three goals so far to start the campaign. And there's the benches, Nick Kalma and Mate Duganzic on the bench for the home side with uh, Podiak back in the match day squad for the Wanderers. There is John Aloisi, two wins and two points, in fact, from his last nine matches. Five straight losses to end last season. So the pressure is certainly mounting on the home boss. In contrast, Tony Bopovic in second place with his Wanderers side after consecutive victories. Man in charge, Peter O'Leary, in his 51st A-League match. 41-year-old from New Zealand, officiated at the 2010 World Cup. And the match underway. Well, they've uh, been begrudging away from home. Melbourne Heart, can they find the right form at home? They face uh, Sydney teams in consecutive weeks at this stadium and it's a welcome to Robbie Slater for this one. Yeah look it's a big big two weeks, two Friday night games they, they kind of like Friday night games they've been quite successful in Friday night matches but you know, their form's been pretty good, they should have won last time out here against the Mariners in Graham Arnold the Mariners coach conceded they were a little bit lucky to come away with a point and first half against Brisbane was a real pointer to the, how they can play but then you had the second half as well, and you can't disguise that. Bage over the top finds Mifsud. Third consecutive start for him. Clips it into the area. That's a good ball too. And the header deflected wide by Golgol Mabatu. Yeah, good start. Down the left-hand side, little diagonal run from Mifsud. Probably should have scored last week, but it's a decent ball, and Mabatu into the back, it's the better of the Puzzo coming across him there. Decent header, just couldn't direct it on target. Williams, such a positive start by the heart last week in Brisbane. Really came at the roar in the first half, created a stack of chances. It's been the story of their season so far. End product. Here's Masmodoka. Cuts it back. Goal goal from Bartu. Again on the end of uh, a positive move for the home side. Yeah, the mistake from Aaron Moy and pounced on. Massimo Madoka making a forward run. It was a nice little layoff to Mabrata who just had that header and really went for placement with that shot. And I think from that sort of distance he should have just put his boot through it. Gone for power rather than placement. Tony Popovich, uh, Robbie, has been prone to tinker with his squad, but I don't think anybody expected Michael Beecham to be out of the matchday squad, the captain for the Wanderers. Well, it's a big call. Spiranovic, the recent signing, of course, looking to get back into the Socceroos, and Tony Popovich out of the squad altogether with the, the captain, Michael Beecham, and responding to that question, saying it was a tactical move. Also, Mark Bridge moving to the bench as well. Very often that he makes wholesale changes. That those two changes can be looked upon as that. Poliak back on the bench as well. He stays with LaRocca and Aaron Moy. For Tony Popovich, he does always about his squad. He always stresses the importance of every player. Bayic up the line. Looking for the dangerous Sir Ramsey, who had the earliest of chances uh, for the heart last week. This sort of couple of Excellent uh, opportunities as well. And 
There's a corner for the home side. Both coaches have been forced to defend players this week. Of course, John Aloisi had the defence of Harry Kuehl, club captain, and Tony Popovich for Jerome Pollens. Nebratu. That was retro. Clipped into the area. And deflected uh, in behind by Matt Speranovic, his first touch of the match. And great to see him uh, back at Australia. There's Harry Kuehl. A very frustrated Harry Kuehl. I spoke to him last week and he was so much looking forward to this game, but just a freak training ground accident. Much you can do about that. Driven in near post. And a chance there. Missile was uh, darting around the area. Swept off his feet. Spiranovic uh, once again aware and very agile. Well, it's a good start from Melbourne Hart, and we know uh, they do start games well. We need to put the whole package together this evening. Page. Ramsey. Retray to Madoka. A lot of passion in the driving through the body of Mess Madoka last week against his old club, but he's been an effective player since been signed by John Alwissi. Alwissi said in the lead up if we keep playing the way we have, the results will come. Some stage they have to come. He's under fire for underperforming with a squad that uh, he's made wholesale changes to, albeit a raft of injuries. Nebratu dipping free kick. Oh no. It's a poor touch by Cole. Madoka. Walker gets his second start of the season. Bayich. Gerhardt, sweeping ball, and that's asking a lot of Mabratu. Skidding off the pitch that uh, has been moistened with uh, pre-match rain. Slight chows in Melbourne in the afternoon. Of course, three times they met last season. On all three occasions, it was uh, the Western Sydney Wanderers successful. Twice at Parramatta, and once at this stadium. Here's to put up. The rocket, most effective touch there for Tommy Urich. Certainly a free kick, no. That one was a clear push on Mifsud. Certainly looked like a foul. Top of Stanley coming in behind Mifsud. It's a real mismatch in the air, that battle. Western Sydney. This opening period just struggling to find their rhythm. There's Missoud with his eye on the ball, and that's a clear foul. Santalab operating in where well, we're used to seeing Mark Bridge on the left hand side, Shannon Cole operating on the right hand side. No Hersey again for Western Sydney. A lot of that creativity is going to have to come from Shinji Ono in the number 10 role behind Tommy Urich. Now, we know Western Sydney, their style, they're very happy to give up possession. In fact, I think against Adelaide last week, they had only 36%, but they're very effective in transition and when they get chances. Here's Moy. Urich slides into the path. Santa Lab! A slight deflection off uh, Gilhart. Oh, that was smart. Just a Wehart didn't really, he was showing him down the line, but he just opened himself up a little bit too much. Gave Sandalab a glimpse of that far post, and he just didn't get a hold of it. Nice little ball through there from Tommy Urich. It just showed him a bit too much. Sandalab didn't get a hold of that. He needed from that sort of position. He opened himself up, right, but just get a bit of lift on it and try and go for that top corner. Back 
to Harry Kuehl, Robbie. A little bit uh, perplexing, some of the comments. Notwithstanding, he loves his golf, but uh, he was playing on the match day that uh, Melbourne Hart lost to Brisbane Raw. Supposedly, he was fit to play golf, but uh, not fit to take his part of the match day squad. How do you see that? Well, I don't have a problem with that, and I think people have got a little bit carried away. The, the important thing for me, the ball will be cut out by Bayich, and he'll probably go back to his goalkeeper, no, from uh, Madoka. But the thing for me is John Aloisi he gave him permission to play. Here's Bayich on the march. Positive move this for Melbourne Hart. Mishun. Tries to square it for Mabratu. Well, I thought he could have gone for that. thought he could have pulled the trigger there, Mifsud. Good move from Melbourne Hart. Collins tries to release Santana. Brilliant pass from Sam, from Collins. He drops the shoulders. And that is a square ball that was ill-directed. It was meant for Shannon Cole, who wins the starting berth. So Santana moves to the left wing and... Cole to the right. Yeah, you two options there. He would open himself up nicely. I think you talked last week a little bit about a certain goal he scored at the Adelaide Oval. It was from that sort of position. Opened up nicely on his right foot. There was nothing wrong with the, the selection of pass, but well behind Shannon Cole. Wasted opportunity. But just back to Harry. A bit of the stick he's copped. And look, he said he was fit. And I can understand John Aloisi not playing last week in Brisbane. He probably thought, no, he's a little bit short. Not much point putting him on the bench up there and give him another week's week full of training, but I don't see how going swinging the golf club when your manager says you have the right to do that. Now that's such a problem. It's look, it's a freak training accident. It's unfortunate that it's happened to Harry because everyone's desperate for him to play, but I'm sure in a couple of weeks off and he'll be back in. And Chigiano takes a free kick where he can really deliver some concern. Melbourne Hart. The goal of the derby. An assist as well. Plenty of dangerous balls into the box. It's the Japanese superstar. And the deflection away from Andrew Redmayne's goal. Came off a hard player as well. And top off Stanley. So close to a tap in at the back post. Wicked ball in from Shinjiano. And now his quality from the set piece. Look at that flat into that danger area was it Jeremy Walker the touch might not have been was a touch that invited the top of Stanley sneaking around at the back post unmarked this time he goes square and caught Aaron Moy unawares too very good anticipation by Mas Madoka he's got players right and left in space he goes the David Williams option early ball played in it's just poorly directed because he had Ramsey at the back post Great opportunity there for the Melbourne Heart. Yeah, just underplayed it, didn't he? They were four on three. One stage there. A mistake from the corner. Shinjiano trying to play it to Aaron Moy, who was running the other direction. Bayich. Cross field for Mabratu. Awkward ball to control. Now has Deputso to deal with. Walker. combining with Madoka, who's really the midfield general for Melbourne victory. Nifsel. The Maltese International away. Refer too much of it to Deputso. He puts Moy under pressure. Good battle for possession here. Chingiono joins in. Urich. Just a little bit off and caught Santalep flat footed. Wanderers, uh, since the start of last season, have won 21 matches with less than 50% possession. Easily the most in the league. The Mariners 11, so you can see their comfort zone. Walker. Very happy to concede possession and try to catch teams on the counter. In contrast, it was Melbourne Hart last week that really pressed the issue against the Raw.
two points in his last nine matches for John Aloisi. A record that he'd be very, very keen to improve on here. Bayic. Is that a block by the rocket? Yes, of the uh, New Zealand referee. And Polance is away. Cole is caught in possession. Retro finds Ramsey and Williams. The half getting numbers forward. Williams delivers early. And that's an excellent take on the half volley by Antekovic. Well, that's that's a, not a bad ball in from David Williams. And I think Miffs are there. Stayed. Well, he didn't make a run at all. He's got to make a run to the near post here to gamble. To try and get in front of the defender. Stayed rather flat-footed. Western Sydney turning the ball over far too easily. It was Shannon Cole that time. Talk about the heart's woes on the road, but the Wanderers are in stark contrast. Not lost in their past 11 away matches, including eight of their past nine wins. So third best away undefeated streak of all time. You can see the early possession figures, 75-25 to the home side. Free kick uh, for Shannon Cole. Bayic. Can you see any plausible reason for the, uh, the Hearts' second half fade outs, Rob? Well, if you look at last week as an example, you know, it's rather demoralising, I guess, for the team as a whole when you miss you know, very, very good chances. And you know, they could have been two up at half time, at least one up. And then they concede a, they concede a goal to Brisbane. You know, a bit of poor defending, and you know, Brisbane at some court, once they get their heads up, you know, they can get on a roll. But I guess when you get in that sort of rut, you're always conceding goals in the second half. It becomes psychological as well. And the players get a bit deeper as so they start to worry, are oh, we going to concede again? Oh no. Tough one for Urich to control when you consider their injury list. To Orlando Engela, who we had a brief chat with, a huge figure in the tunnel. He uh, is set to return in January. Dylan McAllister's out. Harry Kuhl, we know, with an ankle injury. Germano, Hoffman and Kisnorbo. It's a huge list to missing for John Aloisi. And a lot of experience as well on that list. Kovic, forced to stretch. And Topper Stanley recovers in time. And that was almost calamitous there for the Wanderers. There was a slight hesitation between defender and goalkeeper. And I think David Williams thought that... Well, he was sort of half protesting that you know, Kovic dragged his leg. A real mix up. Kovic coming and Topper Stanley just didn't have the pace. Williams very quick off the mark. Topper Stanley gets there. Strong challenge. Good challenge from Williams. And there he's trying to get up. And Kovic trying to get up as well. Oh, was it clumsy? Or was it a foul? for the Wanderers. We met in uh, round five last year at Kertek Stadium. The Wanderers uh, over the heart 2-1. Bridge on the score sheet. He's celebrated his birthday a, a day or so ago. And out of the starting lineup for Mark Bridge, round 18. It was also the Wanderers with Pollent scoring and 3 1 to Western Sydney in round 25 with a double to Aliti. So they certainly had the wood over the heart last season. 
as they did many teams. And Collins finds some space. Cole. Fighting for a possession. Oh, they're closing them down very quickly. In packs, Melbourne Hart. Not giving Wanderers players any time on the ball. Shinjiano with a clever header back. Tom Urich made a useful run, but alert to the danger, Redmayne. To put so off the chest, Moy. Very keen to see the way Skoranovic looks uh, as far as uh, touch and sharpness goes. They back off Ono and chips it into Santalab. Contact with the header. In fact, Jeremy Walker stood his ground well. They did well, Jeremy Walker. I'm sure Sandler didn't get a crossing. In the corner for that. As Redmayne grabbed it. And for his assistant, um, put the ball out of play. Second corner. Oh no. Drives it near post and it's flicked back. Spiranovic got his big frame in there. So too did uh, Gerhardt. Cole under pressure. He's coughed up possession a couple of times in the first 20 minutes. Yeah, a bit rusty coming back into the side. Corner from Shinjiano, Topo Stanley attacking that ball at the near post. Just thought he was a bit flat footed, Sparanovic at the back post. He wasn't really attacking the flick on. Moy. The docker. Referee picks out an infringement. Now I think he's gone back to the Tommy Ewix with a high foot. Experience for the heart to play with the big three clubs in Holland, PSV, Ajax, and FC Twente. Missa almost lost his footing but recovered. Gold Holm Mabratu gets to the byline cleverly, and that's a lovely delivery in the middle. It mattered to nothing, but the threat was very present on the Wanderers' defence. Good play from Lebrantu on the right-hand side. Love to see a winger do that. Stand, stood Daputu up, a couple of step-overs, dropped the shoulder down the outside of him. Daputu a very good one-on-one -on -one as well. It's a real interesting battle in this opening period, the first half. We saw him develop a goal post United goal goal, Lebrantu. Always promised so much. Williams. That's an ambitious shot and always rising above Ante Kovic's crossbar. Yeah, just leaning back had to try and generate a lot of power with that. He does like to hit from distance. David Williams playing in that number 10 role this evening. Not a technical number 10, but he certainly likes to drift. Make runs from deep, trying to burst into the space. High work rate. Collins. Inside he goes and delivers a good ball. Santalep's there. And uh, again, the touch from Jeremy Walker took it away from the goalkeeper who was cutted by the Wanderers number 11. A very courageous work by Andrew Redmayne. Look, I think Santalep's going for the ball. I think it is a foul. Similar position from Collins. Crossing the ball to set up Tommy Urich last week. Jeremy Walker with the first touch. Sandslab, I think he's half a chance. He's going for the ball. And I think he's got a right to go for the ball there. But he is a little bit late and it is a foul. Sandslab into the referee's book.
saw him uh, replace the, the flying use of Hersey, and the Wanderers claimed their first victory with uh, Hersey not in the lineup last week, so they overcame that hurdle. He hasn't overcome the, uh, the toe injury that he suffered in the derby. And they weren't at their best last week against Adelaide United, but they were clinical and they had to be. There's no doubt Hersey is missed. This gives them that flair and penetration down the right-hand side. Something that Taj Minicon provided in that second half when coming off the bench, and I suppose uh, many expected him to start if there was a tinkering in the midfield, and Hersey not returning, but it was Shannon Cole preferred. I think Shannon Cole preferred which fits probably better in with the defensive structure. Taj Minicon come on as an impact player. His retro. Ludoka. Ramsey. Useful first touch. Mitchell played in. Michael Wilson! Oh, that was a tremendous opportunity for Melbourne Hart. What a ball from Ian Ramsey. Yeah, clever pass from Ramsey. Ramsey Mifsud gets in behind and it's not a great finish. He lost Sporanovic. Good little darting run off the shoulder of Sporanovic. He looked flat footed. And he shot the near post. He needs to go across the keeper from that angle. delivery the lead-up play was excellent Bayic, uh, had the time to take it on his chest Shinji Ono with Polence in the center this is dangerous Ono combining with Moy oh, almost slipped it through to Santalab inches away from a, a perfect pass that one the rocket Finds to put so. He chips into the space. Good angle ball. And that's the Shannon Cole. He scores on the angle. Melbourne Hart have been stung by Shannon Cole, the right winger. They didn't clear their line. And the Wanderers take the advantage on 26 minutes. Well, John Alois will be bitterly disappointed not dealing with this. Ball out to the puts in this one they should be dealing with. Tommy Urich in there. He gets the first set, he gets two bites out of Chen and Cole, the second one he puts away. But real sloppy defending from Melbourne Hart. That first header should be cleared away. He gets two bites, take nothing away from the finish in the end. Low and hard across the keeper from Cole. But the first ball in, one you know, defensive header, the two things you're looking for is distance and height. And that first distance, that first header had neither. 10th A-League goal for Shannon Cole. A very timely one. Typical Wanderers effort absorbing possession. Just taking their opportunities, very clinical. Ramsey, Cole doing some defensive work. Sprays out to Bayich. Let's see if the heart can react. Williams made a good run, but it's a very awkward ball to direct on goal. Yeah, good good run, but just a little bit early, probably in there, and the ball just behind him, very difficult to control. Oh, no. And he has to put so on his outside. Takes another touch in Giono. And that's straight into the lap of uh, the grateful Andrew Redmond. Great ball, just held it up, held it up. Really, Sandalab maybe could have had a bit more determination attacking that ball. Mifsud. Game's opened up. Stanley trying to cut down the angle. And then the corner conceded for the half. Drops the shoulder, takes a deflection, and Moy was uh, covering the near post well. And the Wanderers now in comfortable territory 
undefeated in 11 away games and scoring first. 10 wins and one draw. Ramsey puts it back post. No joy there for Melbourne Hart, but uh, they keep the move alive. Negratu, Collins. It's a good opportunity to snap the volley, but uh, he couldn't direct it on target. Well, the goal, and really it's simple defence, and it hard this first header. I know he's stretching a bit, but that's a poor defensive header. He has to be better positioned there to be able to get some, some distance and height on that ball. It was really just a, a glance that took it to Shannon Cole. He got two, two bites at it. The central defenders in that sort of position really need to be winning that because it was a ball really from a position where their favorite every time we saw at least a couple of goals they conceded last week robbie against the raw four defensive uh, choices in the middle in the melbourne heart and the experience of bill hart and bill hart that must be disappointing for john obviously After producing the so many positives in the tack in the first half. They just lost their way a little bit since the goal. Look at the heads down. They've got to put that behind them now. Concentrate on that positive start they did have. Took a slight deflection again. Walker stretching to deny Santalev, who's been a real threat on the left. Brendan Santalev. Well, I like that run he made there. Put pressure on Jeremy Walker and coming in, anticipating the flick from Urich. Oh no. Aaron Moy gets rid of Madoka. Brings back Ono into play. Back post, Baranovic hits the crossbar. And Santalab can't get the rebound on target. Well, well it's a sit-up. You can't say it's not now. Look, I know he's surprised. It comes back up the crossbar. He gives it a blow, but... Well, it's just... You should have put that away. We talk about anticipation. That's, that's an empty, empty net. He hits his head and he just he can get a downward motion on that. He gets a simple one. Clever ball, wasn't it, from Shinji Ono to the back post. Riding a, a wave of confidence at the moment, the Wanderers. The heart on their heels. The Rocket. Stats won't really concern the Wanderers too much as Mitchell is denied by some strong work from top of Stanley. And there's a free kick to the home side. And Mitchell very, very sharp, isn't he? And when they turn top of Stanley around, he's just looked a little bit sluggish this evening. Look at top of Stanley. Kovic again with that decision to come out. It's a free kick for it. Of course, wearing the captain's armband. Stanley in the absence of Michael Beecham. This will suit the left foot of uh, Ian Ramsey. Good angle for him too. Hit the post. Nearly broke the post last week. Well, they deserve a slice of luck for Hart. Will they get it here? Wall is set. This foot providing a nuisance value on the edge of the wall. And it's Ian Ramsey. No, he's not so threatening Nico Kovic with that one.
four matches, one clean sheet in the derby for Kovic this season. Goalkeeper of the year and uh, previous plate winning campaign for the Wanderers. It's a lovely touch from Santalan. The Puzzo went to outpace Nebratu, who was initially thought he overran it, but uh, just got a nudge from the left bank of the Wanderers. Showed a good turn of pace there. Nebratu, he had what, three or four metres on him there, the Puzzo. So he had plenty of pace in that front line. And a way of utilising it. Stretch with that injury list. David Williams, the only goal scorer this season, with that double against the Central Coast Mariners. We started the, uh, the season with a very useful draw in the in the derby. The few well with the Harry Kuehl playing 65 odd minutes in that derby before whiplash injury denied him of a place in the next three matches. And now an ankle. Uh, Injury that adds insult to injury for John Aloisi. Pollens. A rocket. Oh no. Cole. I just can't to wrap the boot around the ball. It was a lovely orchestrated move there for the Wanderers. Yes. Nice and crisp, one touch from Ono, such a clever player, knows how uh, when to deliver the ball, the weight on the pass. And Sean Cole not wrapping his boot around that yet. Tommy Urich made a really good run to the near post. Darted inside before darting back towards the near post. That's what Sean Cole should be looking for. crucial they are on the bottom of the table and really need a result tonight you know, if you looked at, at what's around them we know it's early days but Sydney down there as well Sydney of course we've got the big blue tomorrow night against Melbourne victory that should be a cracker at Allianz and the pressure on Sydney as well you don't 
don't want to do early in the season is get dis distance down the bottom. Stretching the clearance there by Topple Stanley. Controlled it well off the chest and clearance straight to Retro. Magratu. That's a good ball, Jeremy Walker. Early one played in back post. They need bodies in the area. Just off the knee of Collins. Ramsey. Closes up for the heart. Williams! Oh, off the crossbar. Well, that, that had dip, that swerve. And it just didn't have enough dip. And he said he likes to hit him from distance. Hit one right way into the back stands that time, last time. But this one, really good hit. Not much back lift on it as well. A little bit of the outside of the boot. Dipped and swerved and whistled onto the crossbar. Go back to that little bit of play just before that shot from David Williams. Jeremy Walker was a really good early ball in behind the Wanderers defence. Retro with that ball through. And just nobody gambling that you know, Mifsud and Ramsey Williams all really just ball watching. That'll be a foul. And real hard. And it's a yellow card. You've got to anticipate. Look at Tommy Urich last week, his second goal. That's all he did. Anticipate where that ball, where that cross is going to come from. It's now 250 minutes since the, uh, the heart last scored against the Mariners. David Williams has doubled. Masters are protecting a lead. The Rocket has scored. Savage header of the derby. The account for Western Sydney. Urich. Those two defenders. Williams. Retray. Bayich. He's sort of in the middle, but he's not going to out-jump Spranovic. Complete fresh air shot there by Madoka. He's going to stay in that ball. First half, as is this man, Shinji Ono, but to uh, indication his radar just a little off. Yeah, Trot on that one in behind, inside of Jeremy Walker. It's misdirected. Been pretty good in this first half, Shinji Ono. Real glimpses of his class. That's an excellent first touch, getting rid of two hard players and then sweeping it wide, searching for Santalab. Of course, Tony Popovich forced to defend uh, Jerome Ponitz's uh, aggression in the tackle so far this season. Well, he's certainly an in your face defender. They both are, both fullbacks very similar in that style, is that you know, they don't like to the wingers if they can keep them tight and stop them turning and they do that now is sometimes a little bit overly aggressive there's certainly been a case for that in the last couple of weeks it's more over enthusiasm and just a little bit too aggressive there's certainly a couple of bad challenges in the last two weeks Started the game very well, and that's an excellent ball in behind the defence. Williams onside. 
Ramsey in the middle. They need the numbers though, Melbourne Heart. Defensive uh, cover there for Western Sydney. Madoka. Walker can't to clear the first man. Madoka with a second bite. All slows down for the Heart now. Wanderers uh, very good at getting players back. Bates tries to get to the byline and deliver, but uh, he's off the arm there. Of yeah, he's a bit unlucky. Andy. He got the old double ricochet. Maybe he should have crossed it. The first opportunity he made a bit of space for himself, and then once he took an extra touch, that space just closed down. Stanley using his frame to affect Avats Misuk. Moy. The Rock are a little bit more advanced. They do switch in that respect. Spranovic uh, pushing up. Collins. Odo. Cole. Shannon Cole. Can't get the delivery away. It was a, a good block from Aziz Bage. He just hesitated, and the reason he did that because there was no one in the box. After hesitating, the space was closed down. This is where they need to go quick, Melbourne Heart. Now their strength up front is their pace, and when they win the ball, they transition there when Western Sydney are pushed up high. That's when they need to use that pace. But they have to go quicker. And with Jeremy Walker. Brantu, he's, that's one thing he has in abundance uh, pace. Walker. Good pressing here by Western Sydney. Goes without saying, excellent defensive shape. To Tony Popovich aside, they lead at half time. Shannon Cole with his first start and his 10th A League goal. That is a very good result at the break for the visiting Western Sydney Wanderers, searching for a third straight win. Half time at Amy Park. And it's Melbourne Heart nil, Western Sydney won. So the Heart have the possession, but the Wanderers have that crucial goal. Stick around, highlights and analysis coming up right here on SBS. It's the A-League, live on your Friday night. Springdale it is. Springdale, you could take the old road, 80 miles up Widowmaker's Peak, through the forest to the dam, and over Dead Man's Gap. Or you could take the new road. Who makes the iX35 Series 2 an SUV that feels tough enough to handle anything? We do. Hyundai. Get the Tab app and get an account opened in seconds. Get all your favourite racing and sports events. Get the latest prices and scratchings. Get expert tips and bet all from the one screen. Get market movers and tote fluctuations. Get Skyform for every runner on every race. Get an easy to read bet slip. Get Sky Racing Vision while betting. Get multi-leg approximates. Get results. Get the very best account functionality. And you can get it all now on your favourite device. Founded in 1964,
Ashley and Martin is the largest and the oldest medical hair loss company in Australia. After 50 years, we still lead the way. Enjoy the confidence of our unsurpassed experience. Don't let one of the lowest fixed rate home loans in Australia slip through your fingers. After all, the greater's incredibly low rate is just the beginning. Unlike the big banks, when the fixed term ends, it reverts to our lowest variable rate. So you'll save even more over the life of your loan. Take control of your home loan today and let the greater fix everything for you. Call 13 13 86 or drop into your local branch. So I've seen wings take wings. You're covered, even if you forget to lock your door. It's alright. Visit us or call 132 132. Founded in 1964, Ashley and Martin is the largest and the oldest medical hair loss company in Australia. After 50 years, we still lead the way. Enjoy the confidence of our unsurpassed experience. Welcome back to Friday Night A-League, live on SBS2 and HD. It's halftime in our match between Melbourne Heart and the Western Sydney Wanderers. The Wanderers are up 1-0 thanks to Shannon Cole's goal in the 26th minute. I'm here with Foz and uh, Jason. And I guess, Jason, um, you know, we spoke about form pre-game and uh, obviously the Wanderers, despite having little possession, uh, they still know how to take their chances. Yeah, it's uh, the confidence when, when things are going well. Uh, it tends to just carry on uh, throughout the weeks, but it's been a scrappy game. It, ha it hasn't been a great game. Uh, both teams are playing a, a very similar style, both sort of sitting off, off each other and, and, and waiting for mistakes to happen, uh, putting pressure with the front three up on, on the defence, and, and that's where most of the half chances have been created, but um, nothing through midfield. Um, the, the forward, both forward lines have been relatively unseen uh, throughout the match in here. Again, a, a mistake by, or a bad pass by Matthew Spiranovic causing a bit of chaos with Topper Stanley and Kovic. And, you know, uh, early on, Melbourne Hutt uh, put a bit of pressure and, and slowly died off in the end. And, and that's when uh, Western Sydney uh, got back into the game and got their goal. And both teams was trying to capitalise on mistakes. They both seem to press similar in that, in that respect. Uh, what's your take on it? Well, as, as, our, as per our discussion before the game, uh, these are two teams who most of what they want to do is to score very quickly after they win the ball back off you. Um, the goal here was actually a, 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 the opposite situation where they were in Melbourne Hearts half and you see them passing the ball. See, so any time their left fullback is staying that high and they've got quite a few attacking players there, you know that they've had a little bit of possession, been able to work their, their way up the field. Uh, here again, this is a 30 minutes. I think it took about 25 minutes and they're very unlucky not to get 2 0 up. I thought Speranovic was good in the first half, aside from that pass Jason mentioned. He, he started to bring the ball into midfield, which you don't see often often from them uh, and he generally played well. Uh, the, uh, at the first 15 minutes or so the heart looked good 
And you asked the question before the game, and Jason was right in saying, well, they should take the initiative. They're the home side. They really need the points. And they did so. And at one point, they were really in charge. Uh, but then the Wanderers really started to get control, probably five, eight minutes before they scored. And then after that, they're building from the back. The heart is sitting a little bit deeper. No longer are they pressing them so high. So it was, I think, a very tough situation it is for the heart now. They're on an awful run. You're 1-0 down against the champions at home where you, you can't find a goal against a team that doesn't concede many and is extremely tough. This is a big, big moment for them. Okay, what was the main uh, key in that first half? I guess, uh, Foz, you pulled out a couple of uh, features in it, the yeah. pressing. Um, just to, how did it affect the game? Just to reiterate what we said before the game, this is pretty much the methodology of both of them. And you see here, Aaron Moy is going to get the ball. Now, Madoka, we talked about him stripping the ball off, off Raw, off Broich. He's done it again to Moy. Now what they do is they, of course, you attack extremely quickly from there. So this is uh, very early in the game. And they're, they're looking to profit from winning the ball in those areas. That's a good example of pressing. Here's another one. This is pressing very high. When the ball's back to the keeper and you can get someone there to put his kick under pressure, and that's Shinji Ono, now they win the header, the ball has to go long. One pass, two passes, and a shot. And I think he could have certainly... Shinji Ono, look, he's not happy on the edge of the box. Saying, give me the ball. I could have mm. scored there. But a very good example. Now they pressed and forced a lot, uh, an aerial pass from Gerhardt and Wanderers win it back, but within one pass, Williams is onto it. And that's exactly what you have seen from him all season. So even once they lose the ball, immediately they're looking to try and put the other team under pressure. And that's basically one of their best opportunities of the first half, came from precisely that. OK, thanks, Foz. This is your last chance to win an LG Ultra High Definition TV that provides four times the detail of full HD TV. And that's thanks to Harvey Norman and SBS2. Ten runners up will win a $400 Harvey Norman voucher and an SBS A-League pack. Head to SBS2 Facebook page and tell us in 25 words or less which team you're supporting to win the A-League Grand Final this year and why. All the terms and conditions are there as well and the women, uh, winners will be announced next week. Coming up next, it's the second half from Melbourne on your Friday Night Football right here on SBS. Australia's got another Australian coach. Peg Bowles, Kenneth Only here, Pedge. Is that down to the centre left? Oh, no! God of football and also MasterChef. There it is. OK. Did you know who Daft Punk was? No. no. <laughs> Don't be too jealous because I am surrounded by a whole host of A-League names. James Tracy! How did he find the needle there? It's just getting too hot in here, guys. So... forget to lock your door. It's alright. Visit us or call 132 132. Founded in 1964, Ashley and Martin is the largest and the oldest medical hair loss company in Australia. After 50 years, we still lead the way. Enjoy the confidence of our unsurpassed experience. Sydney International Art Series and the inaugural Corroboree Sydney. To find out more, go to sydney.com. The definition of television. 
think not. This is television. Every complexity of every detail. 8.3 million pixels delivered four times the detail of full HD. Ultra clarity with LG's Ultra HD TV. It's television redefined. It's all possible with the LG Ultra HD TV. Now available at a great store near you. Springdale it is. Springdale. You could take the old road. 80 miles up Widowmaker's Peak. Through the forest and the dam. And over dead man's dead. Or you could take the new road. Who makes the iX35 Series 2 an SUV that feels tough enough to handle anything? We do. Hyundai. Get the Tab app and get an account opened in seconds. Get all your favourite racing and sports events. Get the latest prices and scratchings. Get expert tips and bet all from the one screen. Get market movers and tote fluctuations. Get Skyform for every runner on every race. Get an easy to read bet slip. Get Sky Racing Vision while betting. Get multi-leg approximates. Get results. Get the very best account functionality. And you can get it all now on your favourite device. It's back to Melbourne next week for the Heart and Sydney FC. We're on air from 7 p.m. Eastern on SBS2 HD and radio with repeats on SBS2 and NITV across the weekend. Join us on Monday night at 8.40 for Foz and the Highlights Show. Uh, that's for highlights, reaction and analysis and that's on SBS2 as well. And Thursday FC is live from Melbourne and Newcastle next week with some special Socceroo guests and everything you need to know about round six, 8.30 p.m. on SBS2. Okay, Jason, um, let's talk about the second half and maybe possible changes. What are you expecting from the heart? Yeah, a little bit more desperation from the heart, um, a little bit more urgency uh, to get back into the game, to, to command the game. They're playing at home. They've got to get more of the ball and they've got to get forward and they've got to get players into the box. We're, we've seen that they've got themselves into good positions out wide at times. OK, the final delivery hasn't been great, but the numbers just haven't been in the box. So perhaps uh, uh, Dugancic coming on uh, to give him that extra creativeness up front. Um, but yeah, just a bit more urgency. A bit more urgency. And they, they need to win. Simple as that. They haven't won in this will be their 10th game. And there's pressure on the coach, there's pressure on the players, pressure on the club to get results. OK, well, Lucy's uh, with Hayden Fox. Uh, let's cross over to Melbourne. Hayden, your thoughts on the first half? Yeah, look, we, we, we pressed them and uh, I think we pressed them sometimes uh, at the wrong time we weren't set and then they were able to actually play and play through us a little bit, uh, especially in our half, and then they found Ono because the, the, the play got stretched. So we said to uh, try and keep us combat when we can press, we press, otherwise get our shape and make it difficult for them to play, play through into midfield. John's thoughts on the half coming up. Sorry? John's thoughts on the half coming up. We'll go out more in same intensity and uh, see if we can just try and get a, a, a goal or, or a chance and, and finish them off. All the best. Thanks, Hayden. OK, let's head straight to the second half and your commentators, Robbie Slater and David Bashir. tonight would see the Wanderers go top of the A-League and record a third consecutive win. If history is any indication that is on the cards. Perfect record over this opponent. It's David Williams who had a couple of good chances first half. Lost possession there. Moy over the top. It's a decent run. And here's an opportunity, Santalab. Took it a 
deflection in behind for a corner. Oh, good run from Santalo. Down that left-hand side. Once he cuts in, Tommy Urich had already made the run, so he had to go for it himself. He'll uh, maybe copped a little bit on the follow-through there. Here's Santalo. But the strikes, it's not the follow-through, it's maybe the way he was standing, whether there was a twist in the ankle. The nice last thing the coach needs is another one on the sidelines, especially a player of his experience as well. Corner to West of Sydney, Shinjiano. Floats the delivery. Redmayne had time to twist it away. Yeah, good punch as well from Redmayne. good first half the man of the match in the derby didn't have the same influence against Adelaide last week certainly the opening 45 here has been impressive well the one thing you, you are always impressed with Shinjiano even when he's not at his absolute best like last week his, his work rate is still phenomenal he keeps the team ethic the work ethic and certainly in that first half we did See genuine glimpses of his undoubted class. He puts out. Rising early was Tommy Urich. Aaron Moy must have been under a little bit of pressure to keep his starting place with the Pontiac back fit and in the match day squad. Polence. That's a good delivery. Urich rose a little bit too early. Pressure to clear their lines and just the pressure relieving free kick for the home side. Oh, forcing this one through. You can't see there's too much there. They don't want Gerhardt given. He wasn't even near the ball. Both clubs have good records on Friday night, but the Wanderers have won their past five Friday night matches. Scoring the opposition 15 to 3. They have a, a number of Friday night fixtures to look forward to. Still searching for the first victory. A lone goal scoring David Williams this season. The numbers at the moment not adding up to Johnny Lewis's Melbourne Heart. and flat from Collins. The rocker and uh, Topple Stanley there with Spiranovic, so some tall timber for the Wanderers. Oh no, it's near post. It's flicked on by Topple Stanley. The bucket comes out. Williams is on the right, but we have to slow down the tempo and See just by the defensive shape of uh, Western Sydney Wanderers, clever work by Masbadoko. It was to keep possession, but it lost momentum. Classic chance there for a counter attack, but all three Ramsey here on the left. This week, David Williams all running away from Madoka. He gave him no option but to hold on to the ball and keep possession. Docker slides it down the channel 
for Williams, who accepts back from Rabratu. Does he move? Williams. Across out there, Kovic, but uh, it was far too close for the A-League's number one last season. Yeah, but he's stretching for that, Kovic, and again, Misswood and Ramsey with any great determination to attack a, a decent cross from David Williams. Tony Popovich and what he expects. Certainly doesn't stand on the reputation of the ceremony. As Williams wrestles free of one challenge, he delivers well. Almost a new goal there. Spiranovic coming into the near post and uh, almost getting tangled up there with uh, Ante Kovic. Oh, that's a wicked ball. That's well, David Williams. Breaks away from Deputa. Look at this for a cross. Again, Ramsey just holding his ground, but Kovic was certainly worried about that interception from Sporanovic. Rebratu drops the shoulder, but uh, again, it is a defensive block this time from Shinjiano. Home fans searching for joy. Rebratu. who's defending deep, and that's a deflected shot to Gerhardt, the central defender in with a chance from long range. Different type of match for Tommy Urich away from home. That's a poor ball from Morocco, didn't need to chip that one in, he needed to roll it in front of Collins. Frustrating their opponent. It's Branovich. Juric, what a touch on. On the gallop is Jerome Pollens. And uh, he arrived in time. Hector Gerhardt was a fair challenge. Moy. Back post, and Tommy Urich with a thumping volley, but uh, couldn't get it anywhere near uh, the Melbourne Heart goal. Yeah, took, you like the confidence, though. He takes that first time. Brilliant cross from Shannon Cole. Great shape on that. Picks out Tommy Urich. Just uh, doesn't get his body shape and really flashes at it. Hits it on the up and into the back of the stands. Firing the 
season for Melbourne Heart. Williams goes square. Walker. So the striped shirts, the horizontal stripes anyway. Ahead of Nashville Docker. Bill Hart. Closed down really quickly by Aaron Moy. And they look to break. Santalev hasn't got the pace to get to past Jeremy Walker. Just having a word to Mark Bridge, and I think he'll be the first move for the Western Sydney Wanderers. We saw that excellent chance to Bridge in the second half last week against Adelaide.
There's a bit of hesitation on the ball. Williams on the back and just screws the shot wide. A meaty challenge, Wilhard on Ono. Retray. Can't find the opening. Game, <laughs> well, Shinji only didn't want that ball. He'd just been whacked in the back and the ball got played to him. And then he got whacked again. You see the funny side of it. David Williams, for me, has been good. Pretty good for the heart tonight. Just in between the lines. Played some quite intelligent balls. One against, against the crossbar. Good feet, Shannon Cole. Excellent work. The Wanderers. Cole once more to Ono. Collins. This time he goes inside and delivers a curling ball. It threatened uh, the top left-hand corner, but that may have a good side on it. Well, looking for that same sort of quality of cross that set up Tom Urich against that road last week. Over hit across that one. Rain sweeping down on John Lewis. He second half that uh, is beyond the hour mark. The Western Sydney lead the half by goal to nil. This is where they can be very dangerous on the break. Bridge with his first touch. The foot so out wide, but it's Aaron Moy. That's a decent strike. Couldn't find the target. Yeah, nice play from Bridge to open it up for Moy. Just hesitated long enough. Good first touch from Moy, and that was swerving as well. It certainly had Redmayne concerned. Good. 
defenders ahead of him. Michael Misford on the angle. And that's well positioned, Jer Jerome Clements. He was in the perfect place to uh, cut the angle off. And you just look at that again, a ball across the box, and well, it is good po positioning, good defending from Collins. You just think there's a tap in to be had. Really good run from Misford, who dropped in between the lines. Good positive run, good ball across the box. Now, it's not just the wind, it's uh, well, not the rain, it is the wind as well, just lashing across the stadium. I know it's a cliche, but four seasons in a day can often be seen and felt in Melbourne. Page has it down the line, this will make another darting run. Foot. And now it's uh, Shannon Cole trying to outpace his Bage. Good work, Bage. He just didn't have the pace, Shannon Cole. It's a bit unlucky. He's going to get a yellow card for the little ankle tap. On his first touch there, he probably should have just come back with the outside of his foot and looked towards the middle. His Bage has got the pace on him. And Pop Tony Popovich would be delighted with Shannon Cole's contribution, though, this evening. Just before that, he's the one that won two headers on the other end of the field, and he's the one breaking away down the right. Terrific attitude this evening from Shannon Cole. And has the all-important goal that separates these two sides. Talked about the importance of the two Friday night games. This one next week against Sydney FC. That's going to skip away on the surface. Ante Kovic. As you mentioned, Sydney in a big match tomorrow. It's Melbourne victory at Allianz. And you know, Melbourne Hub, in that 3 0 loss to, to Brisbane, they've come up against well, the Premiers this evening. Last week, I think everyone's saying Brisbane Roar are title contenders. They got a massive match on the Central Coast on Sunday. A lot of feeling between those two sides. So it's a big weekend again. The Docker, the back off here in Ramsey. It's Bates. Joining in as well. This is Bayic! Oh, that's a tremendous strike. An even better save from Ante Kovic. And it might spike a counter attack for the Wanderers. Bridge carries it forward. The run made by Tom Irich was their contact. No, said the referee. Yeah, just a little bit tight there, wasn't it, from Tom Urich? So dangerous on those counter attacks. What about that strike from Bayic? Delivers early, but uh, beyond Mark Bridge. Well, he's not happy again, Pollens. He thinks that's a pretty, pretty decent cross, and I have to agree with him. Here's Tommy Urich. Does he get flipping there from behind? A case for it. It was contact just outside the area. Yeah, it was never, wasn't a penalty. Never on Halidi, who scored. I think Urich's run was just a, maybe a little bit narrow. Didn't give Bridge really a wide enough option. I don't know how Lady likes playing here. Scored the double in now. <laughs> it did. 25 last season. We'll take a bow, Shannon Cole. That's a really good performance from him this evening. That's just fresh legs. So Haliti, uh, well familiar and comfortable in his surrounds. Match winning performance against the Wanderers at Amy Park in that round 25 clash that was in a real drop-off in form for the Hart last season to end their campaign. Stefan Mount, one youngster on for another with uh, Paolo Retro ending his starting debut in 71 minutes. Into the 
reaction very quickly. Here's Ramsey. Ran right into points. Kalma. Madonka. Mabratu slowing his way through. Almost finding an opening. Mack with an important touch. Mifsud. Trying to play the one-two with the, the teenager. Didn't come off, but Mack put it back. Yeah, just a little bit narrow that attack, but they get another chance. Sliding in Kalma. Bayic. Comments marking him as his Bayic. On his non preferred side. Well, there's a wall of Wanderers defenders in place. I'm just getting a bit deep, Western Sydney. Tommy Yurich trying to skip over Gerhardt. That's where he's got to do better, Tommy Yurich. That's where he's got to free side, just under the pump a little bit in the last couple of minutes. That's where he's got to be able to hold the ball up. Another turn by Morocco. Shinji Ono cushions the pass to Halizi. Controls it beautifully. Juric knocks it down. Nice. His vantage played as the Puzzo is in space. Bridge makes the run near post. It goes back post. Halidi rises well, but couldn't make contact with the head. second half making conditions uh, difficult for the players it's turned wide for Politi on the corner for the Wanderers oh yeah We're looking at the foul here Mark Bridge with the little toe poke it could have been a clip is that a back pass I think that's viewed as in the challenge, so therefore it's not a back pass. And over the corner. This is with Perks. Nothing in the area of determination. He showed great quality in this match. Granted, that's where he needs to hold the ball for the heart. And the winner back is Magratu playing it early for Misfoot. as well they're getting plenty of possession Melbourne Hart they're just at the moment just not clever enough to break down Western Sydney they're not the first to be like that either second half has really been aware of when Bayic has got caught forward he's swept across towards the left hand side for that ball that comes in behind straight swept on the right to win with Mabato off and Duganzic on by Haliti
shields it well and brings him Collins impressively. Collins in the middle! Oh, it was a great chance for Mark Bridge. And that's brilliant defending from Jeremy Walker. Bridge did everything right, made the run to the near post. It's a good ball, ball in from Pollens. He's just trying to flick it past Redmayne and Jeremy Walker covered his run all the way. Really good defending. Which is uh, the turn ball missed its mark. Shouting ball forward and taken on the arm of Anthony Gordon Dugansic. La Rocca. And so just sold uh, Mike Bridge short. Well, and makes it in place for Lifswood. Michael Lifswood to the power line, and uh, it's knocked away by Antakovic. Moore plays it down the line for Haliti. Good work again from Gerhardt. Tom Urich has had a tough battle this evening. to Vilha off the left boot that's a decent strike and under the conditions <laughs> doesn't lack confidence does he well, you don't mind that he's got a ball to bridge square of him but he wants to take it on with his left foot difficult to generate the power because he's more or less going sideways wasn't it Good 
goal scorer Michael Bisford. Kalmar. Kudensic. Wanderers getting defensive cover back, Jeremy Walker. Yeah, Wanderers a little bit deep, but still uh, playing just in front of them. That's what they like. And they force the, the error. Just can't find a way through. Agitating and frustrating their opponent, Western Sydney Wanderers. Looking to continue their unbeaten away record in scoring a first goal in an A-League match. the ball in and this would again he's uh, in the height compartment uh, clearly by Topol Stanley Best angle. Oh, no, he gets a, 
A very relieving free kick from Western Sydney. They've been under the hammer in the last five or six minutes. Percentage ball from Sparanovic. Oh, Bridge not really going for the header, just happy for Jeremy Walker to head it out and get a corner deep in their, their territory. Aaron Moy. Obviously, a goal scoring opportunity, but can't do so. Walker goes short. Madoka. Mort needs uh, composure but loses possession. Morocco. Moy slides it in the path of Haliti. Lebanon Haliti on the angle and misses the target. It was close. He's so unlucky. Really super play from Haliti. Knew exactly what he wanted to do. Just make that half a yard, which he does. Drops the shoulder, shifts the ball across the keeper. Redmayne beaten just outside the far post. Time is not a friend of uh, Melbourne Hart. And the Wanderers experts at uh, running down the clock. Once again, uh, they failed to gain the end product. Kalmar. Bayich runs away from him. And maybe just took his eye off it there as under pressure from a leader. Yeah, Melbourne had played some good stuff and made some opportunities. Just think about that hunger. You know, to score a goal, you score sometimes yeah. anticipation. Feet. Rebounds the bridge, but Kalmar showed good determination. Again, trying to pick out this is Bayich, but to Pollens, who's had an outstanding game for Western Sydney Wanderers. His defensive and offensive work. Kalmar can strike from range. He hits it well, but uh, Tuttle Stanley was there to block the shot. And it's Tommy Urich trying to outpace Gerhard. He's in here, Tommy Urich. Can he get across the defender? Tom Urich, one on one with the keeper, who does brilliantly, Andrew Redmayne. Cross a brilliant off his arm, I think, maybe up midway up the arm. Tommy Urich, so strong, physical battle with Gerhard, who tried to pull him down as well. Just knocks him off balance here, had a tug at him, twists it back onto his left foot. And look at that reaction save from Redmayne. A lot of power in that shot as well. He did have more just to his right hand side. Went for it for himself. So Redmayne cluttered by Brendan Santalab in the first half. A very heavy knock. Brushed that off and denied Tom Urich. Right on 90. Five minutes of injury time. So still plenty of time for Melbourne Hart. gets up gingerly. Attention off the field of play. Aaron Moy with the corner near post. I think that's gone out. We'll come back in and Western Sydney well, down to 10 men, they've used their three subs. Both sides have. Can Melbourne Hart make it count? And a free 
kick ahead of halfway, Melbourne Heart. Tom Yorkshire still off the field, receiving attention. Bayich with the free kick. Nearly two minutes into five minutes of injury time. Probably taken a scuffed at uh, across the turf before he <laughs> made contact with his badge. They're not the greatest clearances at this point, but skidded off the surface. They go for the short corner again. Ramsey, Duganzic on the angle. Pate Duganzic. Contact from Spranovic, but it's not clear. Walker. Kalmar. Drops the shoulder, gets rid of two defenders. He tips it in. And the header from Stefan and Walk cannot uh, threaten Ante Kovic's goal. Yeah, a bit difficult to direct that one because he's running back on it. And everyone was in there because Kelman, I think, twisted three times. And Mork, he's looked sharp since he came on. Couldn't direct that header. Juric is back on, so they're back to 11, but Juric are not practically just a passenger. And how they walk. A desperate lunge by Haliti, and that's a poor positioning from Stefan Mork, allowing Moyen as he tried to just drag it to wide for Haliti. So three minutes of injury time played. Throw for the Wanderers. Second half substitute. Both uh, teams have used their three off the bench. You see Tony Popovich there just taking his defenders and switched on this ball in transition. And they get another goal kick. This doesn't help the heart. Another run down the clock. Pollitz. Any unnecessary risks. Poliak uh, spotted the run from Deputo. Walker was out of position momentarily, but covered that well. So 60 seconds remaining. And late rally needed by the heart. It's launched long. Temple Stanley uh, happy to concede the throw. as well, Spranovic all over Mork. Michael Nisford has battled his heart out. Two touches. Oh. And uh, that is going nowhere. And there it is. It's the third consecutive victory for the Western Sydney Wanderers. They have fought to defend their territory in the second half after wave upon wave of Melbourne heart attacks amounted to nothing. And it was Shannon Cole in the first half. His second goal for the Wanderers in 10th of the A-League has been the difference between the two sides. They had their chances to heart, but they remain winless this season. And as uh, the Wanderers momentarily go to the top of the A-League.